Hi, John Dooley from Concierge Golf Ireland. So, my big vlog or blog this week is about this wonderful driver. It's called the R9 Super Tri. So, it's been a fantastic servant, technology's moved on, and it's time for a new driver, which is easy enough. So, I found a new driver. I found a Callaway GBB Epic. And what I like about the, the club being so epic, that the uh, uh, using the trackman to test between the different clubs and measure how far, how, how much spin, ball speed, etc. The Callaway Epic was uh, performing on average, not kidding, on average 10 yards further. So why wouldn't you go with the Callaway? Of course, it's 10 yards further, nice ball flight, and it felt good, nice shaft, happy days, done. Great, so I was heading off to uh, my good friends in Innisbrook, play golf for uh, four or five days and during the flight this happened my epic is not so epic so I was traveling with uh, club glove and uh, whatever happened happened anyway so it led me to the whole point and purpose of this vlog was what would I recommend that people should do for traveling with golf clubs you can buy a hard case and I did see uh, Samsonite, I think it's SKB, and another various types of hard cases. Now they're great as long as there's a, an, a zip as opposed to clasps on the side of the uh, cases. So if it's because what I'm seeing is what I've read or for research is that with the various type of clips or stuff that's on the side of the case, the tendency is that they can break and snap. So in a zip is by far more functional. Having said that, the hard case is hard to pack and you know it's hard to uh, store as well so you need to consider having a bigger car if you're traveling with hard cases particularly if four or five are traveling with hard cases whereas the soft covers like club glove or sun mountain bags and etc they can be you can fold those up and but but you need something in the bag to stop the uh, is, is getting this horrific uh, outcome which they call a strong arm so a strong arm is just an expend extendable piece that you shove into the bag up it goes bump and it keeps the whole bag nice and we say secure somewhat or from being if it's thrown around the place it's not likely that this is going to happen so my suggestions are uh, do renew your travel insurance and do look at this if you have or if you are traveling with uh, a soft cover or we call it a softer uh, travel bag do please ex I think they're about $20 or £20 or do please pick up uh, a strong arm as it's called or hard case if you're going for the hard case go for the zip uh, Samsonite I think they're quite expensive they might be about $400 a, a bag and the uh, uh, the soft cases like uh, a partial soft case you could call it like club glove or some mountain bags they seem to be the more popular and, and the uh, 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 certainly voted up amongst the better types types of uh, travel bags to use do add in a strong arm also if you'd like more information on uh, uh, reviews on the various types of travel bags I recommend looking at this website called www criticalgolf.com Thank you, talk to you soon. Concierge Golf Ireland, your hole-in-one golf tour operator.